All right. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hope you had a great weekend and you're looking forward to getting started on a new work week. <laughs> um, I had a viewer ask me about incorporating Start X instead of using a login manager, aka display manager. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show basically. Um, if I understood him right, he wants to know about how to use StartX so that it logs you in automatically and starts the desktop automatically. So that's what we're going to do. Now, as you see, <coughs> excuse me, we still, still have uh, Slim installed. So I'm going to log in with Slim and as soon as I log in, we're going to remove Slim. Basically, all you need to do to use Start X is just don't do, uh, don't install a Display Manager. <laughs> that sounded good. This is in VirtualBox. <laughs> on my uh, low resource <laughs> laptop this is uh, <clears throat> this is a Mia Linux from last or not last year earlier this year and let's just get into it I'm gonna remove slim And after we remove it, I will log out and I should be able to just log in and type in start X. I think the viewer was also possibly wanting to know about incorporating using this in the do uh, de bootstrap. I still cannot say de bootstrap. <laughs> it's a special skill I have. <laughs> I think he was wanting to know how to incorporate it in the de bootstrap instructions. And I may rewrite or I may edit the de bootstrap instructions and give that as an option. Okay. So Slim has been removed. Let me log out. <laughs> and now you see here I have to log in. Password. And now right here that's where I will enter start X. So there you go. Just don't install a display manager and you should be able to use start it. <laughs> you should be able to just use start X to enter into the desktop. <clears throat> but he was also wondering how do you use start X but you log in automatically and you also start X automatically alright so let's let's look at that and I'm gonna have to pull up my instructions because there is no way my feeble mind can remember all this stuff <laughs> okay for automatic login, you need to edit the etc init tab file. So I'm going to use LeafPad. You can use whatever text editor, Nano, whatever graphical text editor you want to use. I'm going to use LeafPad. Copy that. 
open up a terminal and paste it in. Okay, now here's what we need to do. We need to find the line and comment it out. This line right here. Find that line in that file and just comment it out. Have to scroll down just a little. There it is right there. Alright, so let me comment that line out. Then I'll come over here to the end, hit enter to make an extra space and I'm going to paste in this line. Now this is kind of important <laughs> right here where it says your username you need to put in your actual username mine is Dan so that's all there is to that save the file close it don't need that don't need that now I'm gonna log out and it should log me in automatically but I'll still have to type in start X so let's test that theory boom there it is notice down here at the bottom I'm already logged in up here at the top I had to log in I had to type in the name Dan I had to enter my password and then right here I had to type in start X but now I'm already logged in and I just need to type in start X <clears throat> now let's go one step further so that start X begins automatically Let's open up our file manager again and get my notes. Documents. Alright, I'm not going to close this because I'm going to be working in the home folder. Alright in addition to what we just did above where we did automatic login you'll need to open your home folder have it show hidden files which I already have them showing and add the following information to your profile file So let's find profile. There it is right there. Open that with the text editor. Right here uh, at the bottom, maybe skip a line or two and put this in there. All right. Now we're going to save that, close it, and now we should be able to just turn our computer on and it goes right into the desktop. No logging in, no typing start X. Now if you have, I've given a few extra instructions here for like a, if you have more than one window manager or uh, desktop environment you'll need to either edit or create and then fill in an X init RC file and just create that here in your home folder okay uh, all you need to do if you're not sure about this let me fix this right here If you're not sure 
what you're doing in this X and it RC, all you're doing is you're telling it what session you want to execute. So here's an example of what you might put in the X and it RC. And the way you find, if you're not sure how to find what the execute command is, let's just show you here. If you'll go to user, share, and all the way down to X sessions right here. This will list all of your window managers or your desktop environments. You can just right click on that open it with your text editor and here's the execute line alright now if you'll notice I think this is probably the most widely accepted just put EXEC then open box session that's probably what you're going to find if you look up Xenit RC online. Personally, because I'm a rebel, <laughs> I like to use the full uh, execute line. Execute user bin open box session. So there you go. Hope that makes sense. And what I hope to do. Uh-oh, I have frozen up VirtualBox. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this computer is not exactly the best in the world. But I hope all that made sense. Now, what I'm going to do is reboot. And probably since I have frozen up VirtualBox here, let me see if I can pull up. There it went. Okay. Let me just reboot through the terminal. Let me close this out. Uh, yeah, I'll save the changes. Now we should, after it reboots, it should go straight to the desktop. Well, I say straight to the desktop. It'll have to go through some of the normal stuff here. Now, unfortunately, I cannot post these instructions on YouTube because of some of the special characters that are included in some of the commands. But what I'll do, I'll upload the instructions to where you can download them, and I will put the link in the description. Getting closer. Getting closer. Closer. <laughs> Come on, Virtual Box, you can do it. And there we go. We rebooted and didn't have to log in, didn't have to type in start X, and we're straight to the desktop. So there you go, guys. I hope that helped. I hope it helped some people. And I hope you guys have a great week. And take care. Thanks a lot.